My name is Donald from Fun with Woodworking, and today I'm going to show you how I designed the KC Neistat CNC piece that I made for my uh, contest giveaway using the free easel software on the Inventables website. First step is going to be to set my material dimensions. The piece is nine and a quarter inches wide, and it is ten and a quarter inches tall and it is half an inch thick. Let's go and hit home so it fits to the screen. We will now import the SVG code. Uh, I made this using Adobe Illustrator. So the piece is actually a little bit bigger. Well, the design is bigger than the piece of wood. But I don't want any of the rest of this, this extra stuff. I want just his face. So we're going to highlight the white. Get rid of that and then we'll highlight all these other pieces and get rid of them Now that we have just his face, I'm going to edit, select all, and I'm going to combine it. Oh, there's some pieces over here we missed. There we go. Let's select all. And we will combine them so that they are now one piece. There we go. And we're going to resize this piece. We're going to lock the aspect ratio. And the y axis is 10 and a quarter, so let's make this 9.5. We'll go ahead and center it to the material. And now we now have a KC Neistat head. Right now it's set to cut all the way through the material. And I generally cut mine at 0.050. We're going to use an eighth or sixteenth inch bit. And on plywood, I like to cut at 30. And we want to do this in one pass. So I'm setting the depth per pass to the same depth that I have the picture set to. home so it centers and let's do a simulate and it now shows you the path that the CNC is going to take with the 16th inch bit if you would like to see the video that had that the uh, that this is a contest for there is a link in the description below there is also a link to the Inventables website for the easel software that you can click on and you can create yourself a free uh, easel account to be able to design objects like this. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.